In this demonstration, we're going to look at how to recover Exchange Server data by using a recovery database. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually just restore the data from my backup. So what we currently have here is we have a backup that we took earlier on. So what we're going to do is just actually restore that backup. So we'll select Recover. The backup is stored in another location. I actually stored it on a server called LONCAS1. So we'll just specify that server. And then select next. In the case of the backup date, yep, that's that's correct. So we'll just select next here. The recovery type is applications. And the application we're going to recover here is exchange. And select next. And what we're going to do here is recover it to another location. We're going to browse through here. And what I did on my C drive is I created a folder called restore. So that's where we'll restore back to. So we'll select OK here. We'll then select next. And just in the case of the confirmation here. So have a quick read through that, we're happy with that, so we'll now select Recover. Right, so this is now going to restore the exchange data, so once it washes the green bar, we'll just pause the video and return back once the recovery is complete. Right, so the backup is now complete, so we'll just select Close. Now what we'll do is we'll just go to the Exchange Management shell. Uh, from the Exchange Management shell, the next thing we need to do here is we're just going to execute a command that will allow us to identify Mailbox Database 1's GUID as well as the locations for the database and the transaction log files. Uh, so the command we're going to issue here is get hyphen mailbox database, hyphen ID is mailbox database 1. We're then going to pipe that out and what we're going to do is going to format the list. We want the name, the GUID, the database file path and also the log folder path. Right, so we can see all the information here. Yep, it is definitely Mailbox Database 1. That's what I asked for. We can see the GUID is in place here. We can see where the ADB file path is, and we can also see the log folder path. So now what I'll do, I'll just note that data down. Right, so I've written all that down, so I'll just clear the screen. Now what we'll do here is we're just going to issue a command here, and what we're going to do with this command here is it's going to create the recovery database, and it'll just verify that the GUID database and transaction log files do actually match the output, which they definitely do, because uh, I wrote them down. So what we'll do here is we'll just type in the command. Right, so the command is new hyphen mailbox database, hyphen recovery, hyphen name, recover db, hyphen edb file path, and then we put in the path to the edb file. And then what we've also specified as well is we've also specified the log file folder path as well. And what we're doing here is we're specifying server lon-mbx1. So what we'll do now is just hit the enter key. We've now created the recovery database, so we have to restart the Microsoft Exchange Information Store service. So we've typed in restart hyphen service ms exchange is. And the next thing to do is just change into the directory for the restore. So we'll just cd into that folder. Now that we're in that folder, the next thing to do here is we're just going to run an ESE util forward slash uh, repair just to make sure that everything is okay. So we'll type in the ESE util forward slash r, specify the database and hit enter. So that's gone through, everything is completed successfully. So we've done our soft recovery. So the next thing to do is to actually just mount the database. And we'll do that with the mount hyphen database recovery DB. Right, so that's now mounted. So what we'll do here is we'll just get some statistics about the database. So we'll use our get hyphen mailbox statistics hyphen database recovery DB. And we can see that got the item count here, we can see everything in place here, and we can see the uh, users within that database as well. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do a mailbox restore request, and we're going to do it for a user called Tony. Tony has deleted some of his email, and we want to get them back into the production database from the recovery database. So we'll just type in the command for our new mailbox restore request. Right, so we've typed in our new mailbox restore request. Source database is recovery database. We're looking for Tony Smith. Target database or mailbox will be Tony at the datum .com. We're going to skip the merging storage provider for source. And then what we'll do here, we'll just hit the enter key. We can see that's now queued. So the next thing to do at this point here is just get some information relating to that restore request. So what we'll do at this point here is we'll just have a look at the get hyphen mailbox restore request command. 
So we've typed it in, get hyphen mailbox restore request, we'll just hit the enter. And we can see that that has now been completed. So the restore has indeed gone through. And that's the end of this demonstration of recovering data by using a recovery database. Thank you very much.